Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, by request, I'm going to show you how to take a photo in Photoshop and put it inside of a frame. This is relatively easy to do in Photoshop. I am going to show you a number of different ways to do it to try to cover all of the different situations you may encounter. Let me just mention very quickly that I am getting over a cold, so my voice probably sounds a little bit odd. Hopefully, you could understand what I'm saying. All right, in Photoshop right now, I have three images open. I have, of course, the image of the frame. I have this image of the chipmunk, and I have another image of a red-bellied woodpecker. This image is going to present some issues that I want to show you how to overcome. All right, let's start with the image of the chipmunk. We have to get this chipmunk and put it in this frame. So go to the chipmunk, and all we need to do is get the move tool. The V key is the keyboard shortcut for the move tool the top tool over here in the tool well. Just click right on the little chipmunk, drag it up to the tab that has the frame, bring your cursor over the middle of the frame, hold the shift key in and it will drop the image directly on the image right in the middle. There, like that. And you can see it's too small. So we need to resize it. Hit Command or Control T to bring up the transform handles. Then what you need to do is just drag it out so that it's covering up properly. But you can see it's going too far, isn't it? It's going outside the frame. But that's okay. Accept this transformation, hit the little check mark. Now what I want you to do is turn off this layer that has the chipmunk on it, and let's go back down to the background layer. What we need to do here in order to get the chipmunk to look like it's inside of the frame is we need to select this white part in the middle. The easiest way to do that is with the magic wand tool. The keyboard shortcut for the magic wand tool is the W key, but that W key keyboard shortcut is shared by three different tools. If you go over here in the tool well, you could see that I hit the W key and it chose the quick selection tool. If you long left press with the mouse, long press the left mouse button, you can see there's three different tools there, Object, Selection, Quick Selection, and Magic Wand. Get that Magic Wand tool. Then what you want to do is go up here and make sure you're using a point sample. Tolerance of 32 is the default tolerance. Make sure Contiguous is checked. Then go right in the middle and just click once, and you can see that we have a selection of all the white section of this frame. Now it's been my experience that it doesn't actually select all the way to the edge. So we need to expand the selection a little bit. Go up to Select, down to Modify, and over to Expand. Now, the number of pixels you expand by will really be dependent on the resolution of your frame image. This is a relatively high resolution image. Still, usually somewhere between 3 and 10 will work fine. I'm going to go with 5. We'll try that. And you can see it just expands the selection outside of that white area just a little bit and that's fine now leave that selection there you see we have those marching ants going around that white part go up to layer one this is the layer of the chipmunk and turn that on make sure you're on that layer you can see our selection is still there now we just add a layer mask to it go down here click on this little mask icon and bam we just put our chipmunk inside of the frame it's really that easy now I'm going to show you a different way to do it. People, some people prefer to do it this way. So I'm going to go to my history tab and I'm going to go back to where I opened up this frame. So we just undid everything I just did. Uh, there's another way to do this. What you can do, this is a background layer. What you need to do is make it a normal layer. Just click on this little lock. Okay, so it's a normal layer right now. Again, we're going to use this magic wand tool. We're going to select the white part in the middle. We're going to expand that selection again. We're going to go up to select down to modify, over to expand. Again, we'll do five pixels. All right, now we expanded it. All right, hit the delete key. All right, now we have blank pixels in the middle. Now, go up to the chipmunk. Now, for some computers, you know how I moved this over there last time I got the move tool, hit the V key and you dragged it up. Some computers won't let you do that for whatever reason, it's an operating system thing, I guess. There's another way you could do this. Uh, and if your computer won't let you drag it up to that tab. To get this image of the chipmunk over there, hit Command or Control A on your computer to select 
the entire image. Hit Command or Control C to uh, copy it to the clipboard. Go over to the image of the frame and hit Command or Control V. All right, there's our image. Now, what we need to do is we need to resize it. We also have to reposition it. You see over here on our Layers tab, it's on top of the frame. We want it under the frame, so just click on it and drag it under the frame. Now, resize it by hitting again Command or Control T. And now, you could resize it, and you could see that I could go a little bigger, and it's in the frame properly. Hit the little check mark up here, and there. That's another way to do it. All right, what about if you wanted a mat around the image? Because often, when we put photos in a frame, we add a mat to it. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go up to history again and go back to where I opened this up. So we're back to where we started. Okay. To add a mat, uh, let's add a white mat because that's the easiest one to add. All right. So we have this uh, image here of the frame. Uh, we need to do something to make it look like there's a mat there. So what we're going to do is select this white part again. So again, we'll get this magic wand tool, same settings as before, and we'll click and get our selection. We're going to expand the selection. We're going to go up to select, and we're going to go down to modify, and then over to expand. Again, for this image, we'll use five pixels. All right, so we have this selection. Now we need to kind of punch out the middle part. To do that, we're going to get the rectangular marquee tool. The keyboard shortcut is the M key, but the M key is shared by two different tools. We go up to the rectangular marquee tool in the tool well and long press with the left mouse button. You can see that there's the elliptical marquee tool and the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure you're using the rectangular. And then up here, we have different modes. What you want is this third mode, subtract from selection. So we're going to select, subtract the middle part. And to do that, we're going to go to a corner, any corner, and let's just say how much we want the width of our, of our mat, like right there. And then we're going to just click and draw out a rectangular marquee. And then try to make it look, you're just eyeballing it now. And there, every now and then you'll see that, that horizontal lines popping up. That's kind of helping me that I'm kind of symmetrical. There'll be a vertical one too. There's that vertical one. It's really hard because if you just move just a pixel, it'll make those lines go away. So you can just do the best you can. For the sake of this video, if I was doing this and I was, you know, wanted it to be perfect, I would try to get it perfect. I'm so close. Chris is, I tend to be a perfectionist, but let's just do it there. Okay. So right there, I, I'm good horizontally, but not so good vertically. But there, you can see now, uh, it's hard to see, but what we've actually do, we have a selection around like uh, the outside, and this middle part isn't selected anymore. Now what we need to do is put that on its own layer. Hit Command or Control J. So that is on its own layer. And if I turn off the bottom layer, you can see that's what we, just that, okay? All right, now, what we need to do is make this look like it has some depth to it. So we want to add some shading to it. To do that, go down to FX down here at the bottom and add a drop shadow. Now we're going to take this layer style thing, put it up here so you can better see. Now, what I like to do, I think lighting normally would come from the top. So we'll put this somewhere up towards the top. Like that. And then you can mess around with these three sliders and the opacity slider. Opacity slider just makes it darker or lighter. And the distance, see how that affects it. The spread and the side. Okay. So I'm just going to make it just like that. That's pretty good. Maybe a little dark. All right, so we added some depth. Now it looks like there's an actual mat there. So what we need to do now is we need to get that image of the chipmunk over here. Now, to do that, we want it actually, though, under the mat. So it has to go between layer one and the background layer. So click on the background layer so that's active. Go up to our chipmunk. I'll do it the way I did it the second time. I'm hit, going to hit Command A to select everything, Command C to copy it to the clipboard. Go over to the image of our um, frame and hit Command V. Now it's too small. 
So we're going to hit Command T to resize it. And then we're just going to bring it up and down. Just like that. And click the little check mark. And now we have it inside of a mat. So that's another way to do it. If you want to recolor the mat, what you could do or change the color of the mat, uh, go up to layer one. This is the, um, the mat layer. Okay. Hold the command or control key in and click right on it and you'll select it. Once it's selected, you could come over to the color swatches and you could like pick a different color. Let's say here. So let's just do a dark gray. All right. Now you want this front swatch color on the mat. To do that, hold in the alter option key and hit the delete key. Now I'm not actually sure how to do that on a PC because you don't have a delete key on a PC. If anyone knows how to do that on a PC, let me know in the comments below. You'll teach me something. Not really sure how to do it. Um, it might be the return key, but I don't know for sure. So apologize for that. So that's how we have that changed color. It looks stupid, but get rid of the marching ants, hit Commander Control D to deselect. So that's how you could change the color of the mat. It just looks dumb in this instance there. All right, let's uh, go back a few steps. I'm going to hit Command Z on my Mac a few times to get rid of the um, get rid of the uh, chipmunk. There's an issue here if your image is much bigger. That chipmunk was smaller all the time. What if it's much bigger? Well, it, the way I showed you initially just to put it in there and use a mask, that'll work fine. All that will work fine. When you resize it, you hit Command or Control T to bring up the free transform handles. With the chipmunk, we made it bigger. Well, with this, you'd make it smaller. You just drag in. But there is an issue here. Let me show you. Let me move this. I'm going to hit the get the v, move tool with the V key, right? The V key. Click and drag this over to our frame. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to hold the shift key in so it drops it right in the middle. Okay. So far, so good. Now, we need to resize it. Hit Command or Control T to resize it. All right. So we're going to bring it down so that it is in our mat. Now, it's not positioned properly. Let me just bring it down. All right, so it's in the mat. Hit the little chuck mark. Now it's above. Remember, we need that mat. Up. We, it's above the mat. We need the mat above it. So just drag it so it's between the background and the mat. Okay. Now it's there, but look at the outsides. See how it's overhanging? So all you need to do here is you need to add a mask to this to mask out this part that's hanging outside of the frame or outside of the inside of the frame. To do that, again, we're going to get the marquee tool. This time we just get the regular one. So click on this first one. And then what you need to do is just, you could go anywhere inside of the mat, doesn't matter where, and just draw out a rectangle inside of the mat, just like that. Now make sure you're on that layer two. This is the layer in this case of the red bellied woodpecker and add a mask to it. And there, just like that, we have him now inside of that frame. So that, I think, is uh, multiple ways to do it and some things you may encounter that may make it a little more difficult, but still overall, it's pretty easy to do in Photoshop. So, you know, it, again, I'm sorry I don't know the keyboard shortcut to add this, like, front swatch color uh, to something, to a selection. Uh, again, on a Mac, it's Option-Delete. Uh, if you want to get the back color swatch added to a selection, it's on a Mac, it's Command Delete. Uh, so Alt Delete for the front, Command Delete for the back. Um, and I'd appreciate it if someone would teach me the proper way to do it on a PC. I haven't had a PC in a long time, so I really don't know how to do it there. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.